I think it, yeah, it's on now. <laughs> Okay, everyone. So this is my best friend, Shanta. Hi, everybody. And we're going to do the best friend tag, which I actually kind of... <laughs> I actually changed the questions up a little bit, so uh, stay tuned with us. It's going to be kind of hilarious. All right, so question number one. Oh, and I decided to do 33 questions because 33. we are 33. And, I'm 32. No, you're right. And, and because we met in the third grade. Oh, quick. Okay. Let's okay. Go. Wait, wait a minute. Okay, go. <laughs> All right. Question number one. When mm -hmm. and where did we meet? Third grade, Morrow Elementary School, Albany, Georgia. That is it. Okay. <clears throat> so what is your favorite memory of us together? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> favorite memory. Of us together has to be when you live with me in Tallahassee. Yeah, that was a good one. At my home there, every day was the best day. Yeah, I must say we had so much fun. That that is a good memory. A good memory. Um, describe each other in one word. <laughs> one word to describe when you're in Kwanda House. Um, one word, sunshine. She's always smiling. She has a great personality. <laughs> and she's just always, she can always brighten up my day. She can tell when something's wrong instantly. So she is my sunshine often. <sighs> I must say one word that describes you is positive. Like, you are always positive, like, regardless of what's going on, you are. Like, you'll, you'll, you'll bring me to a point to where whatever it is, if I'm having a bad day, you'll say something positive or remind me of, like, the reason I'm doing it or something. So that's why I must Kiss say that. the term best friend. That's my best friend. <laughs> um, what's your five-year goal? My five-year goal, in five years, I'll be home. 38. 38. <laughs> By 38, my goal is to have a successful law firm, true, to true. have two and a half children, to have my own home, mm -hmm. and to have traveled more i like that my five-year goal is to have the kids and to be debt free yes that is yeah. debt free yeah, even including sally may yeah. all right so what's the craziest thing we have ever done together <laughs> the cra oh my god we have a lot of crazy things but oftentimes they involve me <laughs> Something happening to me. I would have to say the craziest would be when she and I and one other friend went to the club. And at that time, grills, we've always prided ourselves on our teeth. Grills were really in. And even though we had gorgeous teeth, we wore braces oh for a really, God. really long time. We decided to make our own grills to get in the club free. Yeah. Out of aluminum foil. <laughs> Now, she went first. Her little fall, she just had one go to. No, no, no. I had a full. Yeah, you had full. I knew how to, like, suck the air out and to make it, like, fit. To fit, like, right on your teeth so you had a uh, grill. And the other girl <laughs> had one. Mm -hmm. and, and her, she went first. And time she opened my mouth, it was already on, on the floor. She went second and went on in. Then I went, and he was like, let me see your grill. <laughs> and when I opened my mouth, I breathed in. The grill proceeded, the aluminum foil proceeded to go down my throat. I could not breathe. I began to cough true uncontrollably. Story, true story. I was about to die. Tears oh running out my eyes. I needed someone to resuscitate me. But we got in for free. But he, he just felt so bad for me that I had gone through all that. Oh I felt bad God. for myself because I thought I was finna I yeah. thought it was the last day. So we had grills. <laughs> so that would make grills. probably one of the craziest. Yeah, that was because I almost I was lost my life. 
Oh my gosh, that was hilarious. Okay, <laughs> what advice would you tell your 16, 21, or 25 year old self? 16, 21, or 25 year old self? Mm -hmm. um, I don't think it's anything that I would tell myself. We have always lived very Christian, very mm -hmm. goal-oriented lives. We've always been very driven, what we wanted to do, what we made plans to do. And we've always taken, um, followed in the plans that God has purposed us to uh, have. That's true. So I don't think it would be anything because I would want to change anything that has happened yeah. thus far um, in my life. My only thing would be to... I would tell my 16 year old self to really uh, look into scholarships. I would mm -hmm. tell my 21 year old self to really budget and save and tell my 25 year old self to really start investing. Mm -hmm. Like that, I think that would be the only thing like financial, financial wise, because I wasn't raised on knowing about that stuff. That would be the only thing. Cause like you say, everything else, I think I know everything works for its purpose, but I think that would be the only advice I would give myself. And see, all those things I actually did. Yeah. By 20, 20 I own my own home. Mm hmm By 25, I had three degrees. Mm hmm And was working on law school. So I I think everything happened in its timing and in its own so purpose true. for specifically for me. Exactly. Okay. So what would be your best friend's alter ego name? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, we, I've already hit the oh, name for her. Oh her Lord, name I'm is Bunkita. <laughs> and oftentimes now I call her Bunkita more than I call her, her real name. Mm -hmm. But on the side of Bunkita, it would probably be uh, triple O G R Q H. <laughs> triple O G. Because yeah. we always pride ourselves in being a good in the game. <laughs> about a lot of things, about life, relationships, <sighs> school, <laughs> professions. Yeah. We we pride ourselves on being thanks to my husband. Clifford Harris. <laughs> I still want to be in the bed in the game. That is super cool. Oh, okay. All right. I would have to say, I would give you the alter ego name of like sweet and salty. <laughs> sweet and salty. Yes, because like you tell people off in a sweet way. <laughs> And then they're like surprised, like they don't know what to say. <laughs> so that's all I have to say, sweet and salty. All right, what's your favorite food, seafood? Yeah. Okay, that's for both of us. Both of us. Yeah. Okay, now I, I need people to help us out with this one. <clears throat> Who's the good one? We, we'll keep continuing. We'll continue. We'll. Okay. Jill knows that. <laughs> What's your zodiac sign? Gemini. Aquarius. Five days. Birthday. Okay. Name a song that describes your best friend. Um. Ooh. Wait. Let me think about this. One. Um. A song that describes. Okay, your I will go friend. first with this. I would have to say one in a million. One in a million. Mm -hmm. I um. I would have to say, this is actually her ringtone. Every day I'm hustling and hey, every day I'm hustling. Hey, every day. Hey, all right now. <laughs> and that's because she's always been a go-getter. And yeah. even if it's something that she is not into or can't figure out, she is going to figure it out. And, and that's she's because I have work. you, though, for the support. Mm-hmm. All right, so this question is, what is it like being best friends with someone who is just as crazy as you? Awesome! Awesome. <laughs> it's never a dull moment. We are always laughing or crying <laughs> at the or same laughing time. at the same damn at the time. Same time. Yeah. All right, number 13. Would you prefer heels or flats or pants or dresses? Oh, dress, of course. Okay. And... Nowadays, flags. No. Oh. 
Nah, Back in the day, it was heels. But it's these knees the and these <laughs> bands, this, this spine is not quite right, and these knees and so <laughs> I would have to. It kind of depends on my mood too. Yeah. Like today I got on flats. All right. So with this question number fourteen, name one thing you cannot leave the house without. I'll go first. I have to have my eyeliner I, on. I was just gonna say. It. Otherwise, I feel like the panda without the blackness over the eye. And what else? Earrings. I don't care. Well, I got on earrings. I, I have to have my earrings. I have to have my eyeliner. On. All right. So what advice have your best friend given that you are most thankful for? Um, ooh, there's just so much. I was just saying today how of all the decisions she's helped me make that have been great decisions and mm -hmm. influenced so many different directions in my life. Let's see. I think for me coming from our spiritual background with family raising us spiritually, that every time like she's always given me the advice of to follow my dreams, mm -hmm. to pray about it, and then to let God lead me. So that is... Oh, I know I really one like. for me. It's um, to, to think about myself. Because so I, I, I am a caregiver for everyone. Yep. And so to think about myself and, and cut off people and things so that I can focus on what I really need to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you could go back to an age or a year, which would it be and why? Oh, I think it would have to be, if I could go back to an Asian year, it would have to be um, the year I graduated from University of Georgia. Mm -hmm. We made a summer out of clubbing <laughs> Monday through Saturday. And when Sunday turned into Monday at midnight, we were still there in that club. Yeah. So, with the exception of Sunday, Monday through Saturday. Yeah. But we were already finished with high school, so we yeah. were enjoying. Yeah, we were that enjoying. That was fun, too, though. And we always went to church every Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. And we always gave God our time yes, before we Lord. And um, so, that, that summer. That was um, a good summer, too. Yeah, that summer. We, we hung and our out. parents already knew what it was. Uh huh. <laughs> we we just we hung out. We went out. We um we went to church. We we just did everything. Enjoyed and, each other. Enjoyed good enjoyment at that. Mm -hmm. All right. What number seventeen? What makes your best friend your best friend? And how did she get the winning title? Oh, that's easy. She. A best friend is someone that is always there and is the first person that you call no matter yep. what. And she is always there no matter the distance. And she is always the first person that I call no matter what. I have to say one thing that made Shanta my best friend is that you tell me the good, bad, and ugly. Even if I'm wrong, you'll tell me like it is. And like, even if we have an, a, a disagreement, we're able to get past that and keep it moving. Mm -hmm. We, we, we sometimes we, uh, we can agree to disagree. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, we'll be like, oh, I didn't see it that way. But it's not even something that we do knowingly. It's just yeah. um, something that's so natural for us. And I think that's what got the winning title to me for me because a lot of girls can say that they're your friends, but they'll let you go out the house looking a hot mess. And Made I know Shanta like uh, uh, Quanda, uh uh, or just uh -uh. like today talking about people who just envy things, envy yes. you, what you have, not Versus praying support for you, you or supporting you. And um, and uh, just a word for anybody has who has ever tried to take. Her, my spot as far as being her best friend title where are they okay In keep the it house, moving keep it moving there. okay okay somewhere um number 18 are you team android or team iphone oh everybody knows it team droid droid i have both but Which i prefer like? that i prefer my android that's just what it is. All right, number 19. What activities were the two of you involved in together in school? In Oh, um, band. Band, dance line. And dance line. 
um it, we in our mind we had our own <laughs> <laughs> our own group <laughs> that included oh my she gosh. and I our leather <laughs> pajamas no. were like none other no, mine said brown sugar her said wait pretty a young minute. thing hold on hold on and let's everybody want to be on our line. line let's talk about this dance line so let me tell you if you are ever in any type of extracurricular activity and you end up having to stand by your best friend you already know and that's just like a disaster <laughs> for laughing non-stop laughing so we're on dance line together and we have to do jazz runs and do everything <laughs> and I, here it is if we're running behind each other we can hear each other <laughs> laughing oh my god it is like straight hilarious but i really enjoyed dance line together uh-huh all right number 20 <clears throat> have you ever dated best friends <laughs> We Why have laughing? never, <laughs> we have never dated best friends, but we dated brothers. Oh my God. And that was a disaster. <laughs> and let me tell you all why. So Shanta lived close to the high school, right? <laughs> I had to ride the bus, bus home, home to mm-hmm. get it's to my right house, there. which was like a maybe 10 minute ride, or even when I was driving, it still took a long time. <laughs> so what her and her boyfriend would do was they would plan to get on the phone with each other. And so by the time the I got home to call my boyfriend, which was her boyfriend's brother, brother they were brother. on the phone. And he he answered the phone. Ah, you thought you was going to talk to him. <laughs> no, you I'm talking to my baby. You got to call him back. So we never really had a chance to talk. And she had her own phone line. So it wasn't like how old, oh, maybe her mama dad had to use the phone Mm-mm. no 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 no. so we barely ever talk and we stayed on the phone <laughs> all, all night, night. <laughs> all night holding the phone breathing <sighs> okay so what was your high school nickname mine was brown sugar her well our letterman jackets uh, mine was brown sugar and hers was pretty young thing pretty young thing yep what is one thing you are proud of that your best friend has accomplished so much for me yeah it, so much buying her her first house at a very young age going out to school getting all her degrees she has an associate she has her bachelor's has her master's and has her jd yeah and on top of that she's a caregiver she's always giving her time to others she she makes her (laughs) i know that's my best friend (laughs) Um, what I, oh my God, it's so much that I am proud of her for. Being a strong black woman is very hard these days. You have adversity every turn, professionally, personally, uh, spiritually. And I would say the thing that I'm most proud of that I think that God has worked on her the longest is her stubbornness. She is very, very, very stubborn. She's still working on me. And still working on God me. has really moved in her to move some of that spirit away. And that has helped heal a lot of yep. things. That has helped uh, fix a lot of things, a lot of relationships. And it's still keeping her encouraged with with better and other relationships so i definitely would have to say um removing um that stubborn yes lord that that took a long time it's still working okay 23 name a time you had to use or involve your best friend and they did not know anything about it well first of all with this (laughs) regardless of if the best friend knew or not that comes a part of being the best friend. You automatically know what to say. I do know, know do. in my younger days in high school that I use Shanta name a lot. All the time. Anytime, where are you going? Oh, I'm going to Shanta's house. Who are you on the phone with? Oh, I'm going to get ready to go. I'm calling Shanta. We're going to go do such and such. A lot of times she may not have known, but she felt it because that's what a best friend knows. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What about you? Any particular time? There were so many times. <laughs> I mean, there were so many t- But in our defense, we weren't fast little girls. No, no, no. As Janie Rambo no, would say. No, no. So the majority of the time that we were saying it was one or the other, we were actually telling the truth. If we true, were true, somewhere, true. we were never apart. We would always be together. together. So, um, all right. What is one of your best friend's best features? I have to say her smile. Her smile. Her but smile. people tell us that all the time. It is our smile. 
didn't. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. So name a time your best friend had you laughing in tears. Oh, my God. That's all the time. Yeah. Laughing in tears. Let me, oh, my Okay. God. I'll go first. Let's say I had to raise my hand. Okay. <laughs> okay, so, here we go. Shanta is hilarious. Like, <laughs> she... And then the thing is, she, she's not, like, trying to be. It's just, like, natural. So, one time, we went out to a club in our younger days. And so, there's, like, two steps to, to, to get up on this stage. So, we're up there kind of dancing on the stage, you know, doing what we do. And it's time to get off. There was, like, a line. You see the people going up. You see the line going down. Why, y'all? Shanta could not <laughs> step down the stairs. Shanta fell. Like, literally fell. Yeah, on the ground and then she's looking around like what's going on yeah, like and then i think i got i was laughing but i kind of got mad because people were trying to see who fell <laughs> no you don't laugh at my best friend that was one of the times like i literally was left oh or the time we were at the club and you had that ponytail <laughs> oh that that was when i was in it yeah my brother got in the fight that night they try to wrap your ponytail back up. <laughs> yeah, as we were walking, it was a that really was long a ponytail. <laughs> um, I think the last time she had me um in tears laughing was her bachelorette party when we had um that that shuffle dance. That oh, you the demonstrate the D Lo shuffle that yeah. she demonstrated. I tried. Who? That, that, that one was funny. Now, that was funny. Where was your first road trip? Going to Tallahassee. Tallahassee to, to find me somewhere to stay. Mm -hmm. yeah. How many, I don't, that, wasn't our, that was our first road trip. Well, we actually drove. Yeah. We yeah, had yeah. been on plenty of road trips before that. But. Um, how many kids do you have or want to have? Seven. Yeah, she always wants seven kids. Well, maybe not seven. seven and seven. she has always wanted her her daughter, her first daughter, to be a junior. Yes. So, like how guys have juniors, I want my daughter to be Rangiori Kwanda, such and such junior. Mm -hmm. Ta da! Well, as of right now, I have, I will have a stepson already. He's five. So, um, in addition to him, I like at least four children. Oh, you can't forget about CJ. Yeah, and my dog. I yeah, and I do have dog. my two little dogs, a cockapoo and a 3.2 pound Yorkie. Yeah. Soaking wet. But my mom, my dad, and my brother, and now are my children as well. True. <laughs> Name a phrase, movie title, TV show, etc. that describe you and your best friend. Hmm. <sighs> TV show or a song or a phrase. Mm. Georgia girl. Ain't nothing like a Georgia girl. I like that. I like that. Song. Um, oh, I can't think of nothing. There's so many going through my head. Mm. Not no Thelma, no Louise, if that's Hell what no, you're thinking. No, <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. We got too much to do. We building the empires over here. That That's right. I have to, man, I have to come. Uh, I don't know. I can't think of nothing. Oh, and Georgia girl. Yeah. Oh, uh, we. I think we've already answered this earlier. Have you ever had a grill? Yes, we have. Someone you know. almost passed with the grill, but. We did have one. I almost lost my life. What's the longest you've ever been apart? I think this was the longest. No. No? Mm -mm. This is why you were in Connecticut. Well, yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking be. about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It would be. No. Mm -mm. I think when I first went to Athens, that was longer. Oh, yeah. Because you didn't come until my graduation. Yeah, that was, that so was, that that, was the longest. That was the longest. About how long would you say? Probably three <laughs> No, maybe it was three years. About three years. Maybe yeah. three years. Um, how do you handle situations or people that try to claim your best friend is theirs? She cuts it. Um, she's like a little pit bull. Um, My nickname should be Razor Blade. I told you that. Triple OG. <laughs> triple OG throw. Um, <laughs> when... When I hear people say 
that 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 she is their best friend. I just sit pretty because a queen never has to get off her throne, and I already <laughs> know what my title Ooh. is. Because what they say, yeah. I know the truth. <laughs> so I don't ever find a need to entertain. I like that. that. Well, then. I just sit pretty, and I just <laughs> on the inside. All right, final question number thirty-three. Name one thing you would really like for your for you and your best friend to do. Um, well, we're already planning this. Um, we we used to take trips all the time, but yeah. school, distance, work, family have kind of slowed us down from doing that. So that's one thing that we're going to get back into doing is taking trips. Yes, and um, that both with our significant others and without. And um, we're thinking about getting another tattoo. It's in in, in on the mental. Um, I say definitely traveling more. Yeah. yeah. All right. One more bonus question. Um, how? What are your thoughts and your feelings of girls who are friends, claim to be best friends, who call each other bees? and garden tools that's one thing that we never do i think ours mm-hmm. we just first of all we respect each other mm-hmm. to not even go that route no first of all we were not raised that way number one that's um, true we were not raised that two, way two and then two would definitely be respect. respect then on top of that three that's not what what I consider my best friend to be. Mm-hmm. If anything, I would call her a queen. I would call her a diva, but I'm definitely not gonna call her call her anything like that. So, you know, I definitely suggest that women start stop using and calling each other that, especially if you care about your best friend the way that mm-hmm. you claim for her to be, that you care about. Her, I say, cut it out. That's yeah. not pretty. I- and to me, I see it as just negativity. Yeah. I, I never see that as being something positive or how you want to be viewed. Or That's how my... Any, no. Yeah, or how you want people to view you, especially nowadays with it being so many children around, so many things that yeah. you see. You have to know how to respect yourself and have certain levels of um, standards for yourself. And so that should be in every aspect of your life, not just with your friendships, but also with your relationships, your profession. And well, it doesn't matter what you do, whether you work at McDonald's or whether you're a judge on the bench. Um, you should have a level of respect for yourself, and that That's should right. always come first. And especially being a female. It's so, so many times that people disrespect females. <clears throat> I mean... So, in saying that, if you don't respect yourself, nobody else will. Okay. And if you don't respect the people that are closest to you, nobody else will. Okay. So, I, de- I, I just see that as being unladylike. Unladylike. Well, thank you for joining me today. <laughs> wait, and, we oh, wait. To, 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 to. all right you all we are gonna get ready to end this video we are still in the parking lot as you can see the guys drove separate cars so we had to make sure we did our video since we haven't seen each other so and it's my birthday it's her birthday